Okay, take two, because some I've had some issues this evening. I don't know what's really the problem, but anyway, uh, I'm going to try and hello again. <laughs> I'm going to try and do this broadcast again. We'll start from the beginning. Hey, Sarah, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on. I've tried to, um, I've, I've connected again, hoping that we won't have such an issue. Anyway, let's get on with tonight's word because I want to make sure that I get it out. Tonight's word is really a, a call and an invitation to the secret place from the Father. That's really um, the heart of the word. The heart of the word is that it, it's, uh, hey, so glad that you guys could rejoin me. So sorry that it was a, I've had a bit of an issue with my connection. But um, I, as I was saying, tonight's word is really a call to the secret place from the Father. That's really what I'm, I'm really hearing the Father's heart in that um, he's calling us to a, a secret place. He's calling us to a place of prayer. And I remember putting out um, tonight, uh, sorry, this week, that um, prayer is not only for crisis. A prayer time is not only for crisis. It's it's a call to the secret place. It's a call to um, knowing the heart of the Father. And, you know, um, Jesus, he, he so clearly, he said, you know what, he's doing what the Father is doing. And he would only do what he f sees his Father doing. And I think that we need to be in a place like that. We need to be in the same place as Jesus is. And that is that we need to know the heart of the Father. We need to be doing what the Father's doing. That's really um what i'm really feeling and um what i'm hearing from the lord hey hey how are you michael um and so tonight's text which i had read already um is uh, isaiah 27 13 um which said and in that day a great trumpet will sound those who are perishing in assyria and those who were exiled in egypt will come and worship the lord in the holy mountain and i'm really feeling like god is calling god is calling us to come and worship him, come and um, come and um, commune. That's the word that I'm looking for. Come and commune with him. And, you know, I, I remember saying to someone, um, and, and I'd often say it, you know, I don't, I'm not really thinking anything about it, but I often say to um, people, oh, you know, I've known the Lord for 29 years, which this year it has been 29 years. I have known the Lord for 29 years, which is a, an amazing thing. But it's not because I'm bragging. This is where you've got to understand. I'm not bragging um, on the fact that I've known the Lord for, for 29 years. It's the fact that I'm bragging more on that the Lord has been faithful to me for 29 years. You know, when someone has a birthday, you know, they're just accumulating in age, not necessarily accumulating in um, maturity, right? But if you um, have an anniversary with someone, like if you are married and you know, that in marriage is so, is so precious. It's, it's a covenant. And so when, um, there is a marriage and someone has been married for 29 years, we celebrate that. It's a celebration. It's, um, it's something that it's a celebration of their faithfulness to each other. And I, I take that as when I know, I say that I know I've known the Lord for 29 years it's more a, an anniversary, the fact that the Lord's been so faithful to me all those years. That's something that I can absolutely testify that God's been faithful to me for 29 years, not the other way around. I wish, I wish I can say I've been so faithful to God for 29 years. I think that um, I would be, that would be a huge lie. My nose would grow. And um, anyway, let's not go down that path. <laughs> but anyway, the point is that God's been faithful to me. And um, I think that we need to um, understand that when we are having a relationship with the Lord, because this is what I'm, I'm really wanting to to um, call us to prayer. That's what it is, because that's the word I really strongly feel. It's a call to prayer. It's a call to being in a deeper place with the Lord and uh, a deeper communion with the Lord. And that sometimes will mean, and I know that this is where I'm going with this, that's that means that there will be silence and i'm really feeling that for myself that there that just because um there needs to be less distraction so um so what i'm saying is um that i really feel the father is calling us to prayer he's i really feel that 
strongly that the Father is calling us to no distractions, undistracted prayer, which means, yes, very, very good, Sarah, and communion, definitely. And that means um, less time on social media. That means, see, it's not a popular word, (laughs) you know, especially when I I find that I I have a lot of my stuff already on social media. And um, as um, an in obedience, that's what I'm trying to say, an in obedience to that, I have scaled down a lot of my social media stuff. And I have, um, this is the truly dirty word in the social media word, in the social media world, deactivated. I've actually deactivated some accounts because um, I need less distractions. And so I want to put the challenge out there and I want to ask you, you know, where is your heart in regards to the Lord? You know, is the time that you spend with God more important than the time that we spend on social media? And that's, that's a huge thing statement from me because uh, people that actually know me would know that I'm like the social media, you know, especially Facebook queen, um, because I used to do social media marketing. That was what I did. And so for me to then turn around and say, hey, the Lord is asking me to to switch off. And that means silence. And, and that means silence to the world, but, but not necessarily silence to the Lord. And that's where um, this is really, really the, the, um, the crux of this message that it is time it is the time for silence on uh, on the worldly scale and it's a time for prayer it's a, it's god is calling us to the mountain god is calling us to um you know go and commune with him so that's really all i have to say for you uh, to you tonight um you know true knowledge of the lord is um not just knowing him uh, sorry, knowing about him, sorry. True knowledge of the Lord is not just knowing about him, but really knowing him. And so we, we need to really come to a place where we are um, really knowing who he is. And that means spending time with him, undistracted time. Time in the word, um, you know, time in um, true prayer, time in worship, reflection. That's um, That's really what I'm I'm wanting to share with you tonight. There was another passage of scripture that I had, which was Isaiah 55, 6 to 13. And if you want to go ahead and and read that, um, let me just quickly flip to it now because I know that there was something in there that I wanted to point out. Um, And that is um, the first verse, which was Isaiah 55, 6. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while whoops, while he is near. And, um, you know, let the wicked forsake, forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return to the Lord and he will have compassion on him for he for to our God uh, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. And let's not forget that God is a God of love and forgiveness. And if you have straight away, which many of us have, you know, I'm not going to sit here and say to you, oh, you know, I've had the most fantastic um, prayer life. You know, I've had the most fantastic worship time. I've had the most fantastic and, um, you know, undistracted, uh, you know, devotional time because that's so not true. Okay. We, we are so full of distractions on every front and, um, we just got to come to a place where we're not like that, you know, and God is calling us back to the mountain and he's, and he's saying, you know what? I know, I know you guys have been distracted. I know you guys are not, um, you know, paying attention sometimes to what I'm saying and that's okay. Just come back. That's really the call. Come back because he's calling us to the secret place. That's, that's really the, the, that's the whole message. He's calling us to the secret place. Go and read Isaiah 55, 6 to 13. It will bless you. And uh, I'm going to leave that um, for tonight. Uh, it's a really short message, a really um, plain message. There's, you know, a, a, there's not a huge amount of theology in it. It really is, you know, Jesus said, I do what the Father is doing. I do what the, I see the Father doing. And that means that you got to, you know, spend time 
with that person to know what he's doing, right? So let's go back to the Lord. Let's spend time with the Lord. Anyway, I hope you have an amazing Saturday night. And um, since there will be a time of silence, I'm not sure what I'll be doing with social media. I am seeking the Lord about that, Um, especially this Instagram account. Uh, I'm seeking the Lord about what I should do about um, either staying on Instagram or having a moment of silence um, on Instagram. I'm really, um, like I said, I'm seeking the Lord about it. But have an amazing Saturday night. Love you guys. So grateful for you guys that come on here and and, um, you know, spend time with me, listen to my, you know, blabbering, whatever. (laughs) So take care. Love you guys. We'll see you again soon. Yes, we've good, good idea. It must be fasting. Let's start doing fasting. Let's pray. Um, let's get to close to the Lord because it is, uh, these times are, um, are very interesting times. We're in interesting times and things are happening in the world. We need to be upon our knees. We really do. We need to be on our face before the Lord. Anyway, have an amazing Saturday night and we'll keep in touch. Okay. Bless you guys. Ciao.